Hello, and today I want to give you my thoughts on the issue of Apple excluding Flash Pro from their mobile devices, that being the iPhone, iPod Touch, and recently announced iPad. Now, a lot of us will know Flash is a key element of the web. If you're if you're watching this video, you're most likely watching it in Flash. Um, Flash allows us to do view video, play Flash games do live streaming and really a myriad of other things um, and, and, and with Apple touting the, 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 uh, on, the, on the devices that I just mentioned the full, the full web is available but yeah there's no flash support on the devices some people have been getting annoyed so I, w I wanted to clear up some maybe mis misconceptions about um, about Flash, particularly on mobile devices, and Apple's Apple's position on Flash. This comes from an open letter that, that Apple CEO Steve Jobs wrote on the website about about Flash and his opinions on Flash and why he he is not going to include it on his company's mobile devices. So. Just so you know, I'll leave a link in the description, I guess, down there now with this new YouTube layout. Um, you can go and check that out. I'm not going to put a link in here or anything, but I'll put a link in the description. Um, so you can go and check that out. And that's really what spurred this video. For, before we get into all that, though, I first want to say that Apple are clearly... Um, listening to us, and I'm clearly concerned about um, what 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 them ex excluding Flash for a fourth OS iteration um, is is doing to their to their financial bottom line. Android and web OS market share is growing every day, so they obviously thought they had to. Taken, taken, official stance on um on the issue, and I think it shows that they're cl clearly listening to us. So, with that said, I wanted to give some of my thoughts on Flash and why I um what I think about its place on a mobile device. Firstly, Flash. I think it's important to note that Flash. It's a, it's a desktop technology. It was built when there wasn't really many mobile devices around and it hasn't really grown, hasn't really changed, hasn't really adapted to be a touch experience or even a mobile experience for that matter. Um, I think that saying having flash on a mobile device is just as bad as saying having, having Windows Windows on a mo mobile mobile phone. It, it it doesn't have the horsepower to handle it, and it, it doesn't suit the touch interface. Uh, if you had the YouTube player on a, uh, on an iPod uh, iPod, for instance, and um, which I'll talk about in a minute, it it, it wouldn't be optimized for touch, so it wouldn't work very well. Um, and Apple will be, let's come down to it, Apple are really perfectionists when it comes to, to technology that might, I mean, they, they didn't just swap on OS X to the iPad, they, they really thought about what it means to have a touch experience and what users want in that. So, Flash really wouldn't be suited anyway. Um, that's my biggest bone of contention with this whole iPhone Flash. Um, debate is that Flash is a desktop technology, it's, it's resource consumption, it also shows that it's a desktop operating application. Flash is not um, appropriate for the m mobile landscape, at least in its, in its current state. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll come up, uh, I'm going to talk about some some evidence for that now, and I'll talk about um, 
and plus alternative to it and exactly what that means and what that means for the web and what's what's different uh, what's different about it on flash and why that difference at its core is a core advantage. Um, so let's get started. I watched a video and I'll put a link to this in the description a break composed some video by a guy called John Four Lakers on YouTube. A lot of you all know him. He tests a lot of phones and he recently tested a one gigahertz a phone with a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor and it had flash support and he's in in his um, in his unboxing he, he showed the flash support working and it was very very jittery. Um that shows that you even on a one gigahertz device flash is not appropriate. Uh, Apple like to tune things and they like to refine things and they like to make them perfect. With with a, with a technology that they do not control, they they can't do that. So it needs to work well. And on this particular comparison that I watched, the video did work, but it was very very jittery. And that's with a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. And the iPhone 3GS has about a 600 megahertz processor, I believe. So if it if it doesn't if it doesn't work well on a on a device with a one gigahertz processor, how do people expect it to work well and then not to complain about the experience um, of using it on a 600 megahertz processor? Um, now, some people might be saying, what about the iPad? The iPad has a one gigahertz uh, uh, processor and it's really well optimized and uh, the the issue with that is again it's a touch interface so it'll be difficult to interact with and Apple can't control it. Everything in the iPad is is really optimized down to the last application and they've really worked hard to make sure everything works on it and that's and that's reflected in the reviews I think. Um but they just can't control that from such a walled garden like Adobe's. Um, now I'll talk about that alternative and talk about exactly what it does and doesn't do. The alternative that they've been highly, highly pushing is something called HTML5. It's it's a web standard. So right at the start, right at the start, we're seeing a paradigm shift here. There's a positive paradigm shift because um, Flash when it was first when it was first came about, uh, um, when it first came about, wasn't a web technology, it's had web features slapped on top of it and it become ubiquitous in the web, but it, it it's not a web piece of software. The difference with HTML5, which is what Apple are pushing, it is a web standard, or, or I'll come to that in a minute, but I shouldn't say it's a web standard because I do other things I want come to but it is a web technology, it's meant for the web and it's it's meant to be used in a web in a web environment like like the iPad. Um HTML5 is a standard not currently recommended by the W3C. So um using using HTML5 is sort of like using beta code which is you might think it's kind of a recipe f for disaster, and, and that's one of my bones of contention with HTML5, which I think uh, St Steve Jobs and the Apple executive team forget when they push HTML5 to be used for media consumption on their devices and instead of instead of Flash. Uh, I would also say that HTML always has been and always will be structural language. It's, it's meant for displaying web pages and show um describing what's on web pages. So the video tagging is team on phone which is what triggers a YouTube video on the iPad. That's a tag in HTML5 that's a video. Um so HTML5 is although good, very very structural and 
not very abstract, so you're not going to be able to get some of the smooth fluidity of the animations uh, as you as you as you will be in um, Flash. Now, having said that, um, some of the things that they showed with iAds and stuff like that in iPhone OS 4 did look very good, but at its core, HTML5 is not an approved standard yet, and um, although it works on their devices, that means that means people have to uh, bend, bend over backwards to support their devices, which shouldn't be used to say. That's my official stance on the whole issue of how HTML5 it's a structural language and Flash isn't so it shouldn't be used to try and replace Flash I do think it will overtake Flash um, in finer areas like video and audio because it just makes so much stru more structural sense that elements in HTML so it makes sense to have them be elements on the, on the page rather in some weird flashing bed that allows um, browsers to interpret them. So, in that respect, Apple are pushing the the um, the web market forward into into ushering in the next generation of browsers. Um, so, in video viewing and audio listening, I definitely think HTML5 will replace Flash. Um, I, I do not, and I've said this in some comments around the web, I do not think HTML5 will replace Flash in all areas. I just don't think that's possible. I think um, Flash will evolve or become something completely different. Um, that's better, but uh, I, don't, I don't think, unless the guys that are why web consortium have a massive par paradigm shift of what they're doing in HTML5. I think um, for describing elements, which is always what HTML5 is about, like describing a video as the video tag in HTML doesn't so much sense, but having games in HTML5 just is not is not sensible. So that was my official stance on it. I think that it it should be used in some areas, but in some areas e equally not. Um, I think it's pretty dangerous for Apple to be pushing a um, a non-approved standard, which won't be an approved standard for web designers to to follow for many many years to come. Um, but that's my stance on Flash and HTML5. So, um, I hope you got something out of this. So, I'll post the link to Apple's article that Steve Jobs wrote in the description. Um, and I'm interested to hear your thoughts on um, on this whole business of Flash and HTML5, um, and hear what you think. I've um, just got um, one more thing to say, I've just remembered this, this was a pretty rambly video, but I've just remembered something I wanted to say. Um, a lot of people are saying that, that Flash crashes on OS X, and one of the things Steve Jobs said in an article was that he he doesn't want to allow something on a device that um, he doesn't want to allow a piece of software out onto his device that they're not fully dedicated into making work for his device um, and make it work as well as it can. Now, um, I will agree that Flash is not is not very stable on Mac OS X um, and it is a huge processor drain like I was saying earlier with the 1 GHz processor in the HTC Incredible the video was still choppy. So, how they expect to use it on a 600 megahertz processor, I don't know. Um, but but this whole issue of of flash 
been horrible, horrible on Mac OS X. I think um, it doesn't work very well, but I think a lot of people in the internet space are over exaggerating just how badly um, how, how badly Flash works on OS X. I've had two OS X machines, and Flash hasn't worked well. And uh, like I said, because desktop experience requires so much horsepower, I don't think it's appropriate for a mobile um, a mobile environment. But I think um, it's it's time to uh, um, tone it down a bit as far as saying just how badly Flash works on an OS X because I've I've had multiple multiple experiences with it and I I like I said I don't I don't think it's perfect but I think it's being over exaggerated. Anyway, th that was kind of a long winded video not very well organised by my thoughts on HTML5 and Flash. What are your thoughts? Please post them down in the comments. If you want more content like this, please feel free to visit my blog at www technobuffalo.com slash future tech if you if you want to follow me on twitter my twitter username is at tomrogers123 uh, at tomrogers12 sorry um, so twitter.com slash tomrogers12 give me a follow over there if you want some more kind of personal updates and te technology stuff um, anyway guys I'd like to thank you for watching this video please Feel free to post your comments uh, on 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 the bottom of this video, but don't just say um, "flash is horrible," "Apple are just being restricted." Um, please post level-headed, fair comments about both sides, both the utility the utility of HTML5 as a um, as a full replacement for, for Flash and Flash on mobile devices and uh, please try and keep um, uh, please be mindful of the, the the two the two sides of the equation because I think the answer lies somewhere in the middle uh, so please be fair like I've tried to do in this video anyway rant over and I'll see you in the next video guys Thanks for watching.